In this episode, I find it very exciting to go through the breakwater to reach Shelter Bay Marina. And we will tell you all about our next adventures. But first, this is me, Kim. There is Bart. And here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33-foot sailboat, Tranquility. The last time we were racing with our friends to Linton Bay and we did not know what to do with our hitchhiker. Under sail, and uh, we have a true wind speed of 21 knots, and uh, we make seven and a half knots of speed. Six and a half. Didn't Six and a half. It was seven and a half. Okay, that was the wave. So we have 90 knots of breeze, and we make five and a half knots of speed. Six and a half. Oh. So we have 90 knots of uh, breeze and we make six and a half knots of speed. And um, yeah, it's okay. The conditions aren't that uh, bad. It's more wavy, of course. There are two and a half meters wave, but it's okay here. And if you think, what's that crazy noise on the background? That's our VHF and somebody is keeping uh, the button pressed. To talk, so it's really annoying. Just in front of uh, Puerto San Cristobal and Puerto San Cristobal is the entrance to the Panama Channel from the Atlantic side to the Pacific side it's a uh, it kind of feels like entering Rotterdam in the Netherlands where which we have passed several times um, because we see the very big container ships uh, at anchor here and they sail into this big harbor so it's um, for the first time in um, well I think a year that we are uh, again in very busy area with big container ships coming in and out uh, there's also a uh, channel channel 12 that should have like a uh, pilot who will advise you or guide you in or just know that you're there and give instructions if needed yeah, so we are, uh, it's a, uh, yeah. Close to Cologne? Close to Cologne. We are close to Cologne. We're getting close to the shipping lane and the breakwater now, so within a few, uh, within an hour, I think we will cross the breakwater. No, faster. Twenty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh, within. Thirty minutes. Within thirty minutes, we will cross the shipping lane and then go through the through the breakwater. And the, yeah, these container vessels, cargo vessels, they are huge! <laughs> if you look at the container now, it looks so small. When you know in real life these containers are even huge. But now on these vessels, they look so small.
Crystal signal station, Crystal signal station, this is in Vessel Tranquility, over. Tranquility, okay, right, sir. Hello, uh, sir, we are five minutes before the breakwater entrance, uh, going to Shelter Bay. Uh, are there any traffic that we need to know of? Over. Okay, Tranquility, we have the outbound vessel, outbound, outbound vessel, APL, Chan, 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 Chan. Will be in the, in the breakwater in the next uh, in the next 15 minutes. 15 minutes in container vessel APL charge. Over speaker. Okay, thank you very much. I will have a close look out and maybe uh, wait until he's out. Over. So we cross it directly and then we go in. Um, or we just wait out. Because he's now coming in and turning. So we are entering the breakwater, but there is a vessel coming out. So we are making up a plan what to do. Um, because we can't be in there together. So we're going through the breakwater now. Uh, we put the engine on just to have it stand by if necessary. Um, yeah, it's uh, on jive course, so not ideal, but uh, I hope we will manage. because the other the big cargo ship came out and it was just on the wrong side for our sail so we needed to jibe but just oh we were moving to the breakwater but we had enough space so we could get to the wind and uh, roll in the Genoa and uh, put a storm round do a storm storm lap and then we went uh, through hard work <laughs> But uh, we have a very good captain on board. There was one a little bit more stressed out than the other one. I'm not stressed out. I just needed to do all the work. Oh, oh we had plenty of time and space. Oh, you were thinking that I was collapsing on the breakwater. No. Yes. Yeah. We're in the marina. We had a smooth entrance. It went really quick. And uh, yeah, this is really a lovely marina actually. It's, uh, it feels a little bit Dutch. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah, Shells Bay Marina. Um, just had our uh, port beer. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna check out Shells Bay Marina, how it is, and check in. We have checked in and um, yeah, what I said, it's a nice marina. They have a lot of facilities and a swimming pool. So that's really, really nice because you have to do a lot of boat work and uh, then one of us can entertain Liz in the swimming pool and cool down a little bit um, there are some children here with Liz, Liz her age so that's nice and um, yeah the vibe is all about what we are going to do so that's uh, really really nice what are you? Shelts Bay Marina is the marina that's close to the Panama Channel. The Panama Channel. Um, this is the place where, well, big ships but also small ships go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Um, and why are we here? We are heading to the Pacific. We are heading to the Pacific, yes. Um, some people may already knew it, um, but uh, it has not been outspoken before. And this really is our way of letting you guys know that we are going to the Pacific. Um, we have our reasons and these are the reasons that we go to the Pacific. Number one is budget. If we stay another year in the Caribbean and visit in the United States, we might um, have not enough budget for the Pacific the year after. And yeah, the Pacific is just something that's higher on our bucket list. So that's the main reason that we continue to the Pacific right now instead of next year. That Hello. we do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Spellbreak! <laughs> oh, it's always so hard to make movies with this little one. Number two. Um, during our trip we've noticed that it is hard to find the same age kids that Liz is. So um, it's difficult for Liz to make friends on our trip and play with other kids. Um, that's also the reason why we are thinking about stopping this adventure when she turns five. Number three has also to do with Liz, homeschooling. Um, we already started with uh, teaching Liz. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing, it's just playing. Um, but we notice it is quite tough to be, to not be the parent at that time, but be the teacher. And also it's difficult for Liz to recognize the difference. She does recognize it, but it is tough. And I think it only gets uh, more difficult when she is getting older. And that's why we think homeschooling is not really the thing for us to and we want to offer Liz a normal regular school. Okay, leg hem op de op de stenen en probeer maar te rollen. Ja, en met de bal mee. En dan zit hij op de tafel. Maar snuffje wil nu onder de tafel. Kun jij bij snuffje onder de tafel zitten? Nee, hij moet achter. Oh, achter de tafel. the tafel. So these are the three reasons why we think and want can continue for one more year and the Pacific 
it's just something we have dreamed for for so long. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. We are going for the Pacific. That's why we are in Shelter Bay, because this is the marina where we can arrange the transit through the Panama Channel and to get a visa permit to visit the Galapagos. Galapagos will be the first stop after, the, uh, after we clear out of Panama. But first we need to transit through the Panama Channel, a big happening on itself. We decided to use an agent. It's not obligated to use one. You can also arrange it all by yourself, but you have to go through different, uh, or you have to do different things and it's a little bit more arranging. And we just don't want to do all that paperwork and stuff. It might be easy though. So we make use of an agent and of course an agent fee is involved with that. The next time the full preparation for transiting the channel is on. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.